good getting internet. Um, before we start, I thought I would go over the final results to show you a good thing, Squirrely. He was being very cute. Really, being cute, depending on what. Anyway, so the final results that I have for the various polls between here and other sites. Um, and whenever there was a tie or something unclear, I decided to tie based off of my fashions. So, um, as a result, we're actually not going to see any of the new classes for this particular video. We're going to see them the following video, because we're going to be three of those question marks off to my right from your camera, um, and I'm tilting my head left. Um, three of those question marks will be filling in this video. So we don't exactly have very long to wait, but um, I'm here's my thought process. So Ash, I don't have a choice. Ash actually has to follow Sword Path. I don't like Guardsmen. They're slow. Yes, they are very durable. They have gobs of hit points. They have good defense. They hit like a truck, I think. Honestly, I think they actually have about the same attack power as Swordsmen. Um, but low, ew. Uh, so I'm going to be minimizing the number of guardsmen that I have. I decided on one. And when I was looking through the pictures for everybody, I noticed that one, Clint, at the end of the swordsman line, Miles. Gotta go with Clint as a swordsman. Um, Grog. I have had Grog as a guardsman nearly every game that I have ever played. He's going to go with swordsman this time. So that means that our mystery guest will end up being guardsman. Uh, that's also to save our mystery guest from growing, uh, going white. Explain more. Archers. Um, so I do have a requirement that I cannot explain due to spoiler reasons, but I need to have either Diego or the first question mark be a hawk knight. I would prefer it to be the first question mark, so that's what I did. Um, Diego and Kira are going to be archers the next two question marks will be hawk knights which also matches kind of what their portraits are get to that later. uh finally the magic bunk situation so i thought really hard about making Neil and i a monk i've never done it i don't want to still Neil and i is such an awesome and super powerful character that I don't want to nerf. And the same thing goes with the other mage. We have not seen yet. Um, don't want to nerf the other mage. It's just, you know, they are so awesome. I want to keep them as mage. So that means that it's going to be healers. Um, so fun fact about the promotion from any class to monk, that you retain all of your previous spells. So healers are still going to have their existing healing spells, plus whatever monk healing spells they can. Um, at the very last moment, I decided to swap Huxley and Free Guest. Purely off of aesthetic. I like the way the Mystery Guest looks as a monk and Huxley. Huxley as a monk or ninja looks very similar to Huxley. Um, I will be showing... Once we have all of the characters and have gotten through the second promotion, I will be showing pictures of what they look like. I am intentionally going to be making a copy of the save from here, and I know how to exploit the game where I can promote them early and show them off type of thing. Okay, um, that's enough for the beginning part. I'm going to pause recording and set up for... All right, and welcome back. I mean, for you, it was recorded the previous section, but you know, not for me. Sorry, I need to lower my volume, and my volume knob is actually below the desk, like down that way. So, a little awkward to reach it down. I, what I would like to have done was mounting the volume knob to the underside of the desk, but unfortunately, I had it actually there before, but it kept falling off. And, well, don't really have much of a choice there. But let's go ahead and load back up. Remember which button is accept and which button is cancel. It takes me a bit. 
All right, let's go back to chapter two, scene one. We are mostly level 10. Um, Neil and I will not be promoting, but everybody else will. Let's do it. All right. So I did actually check. In the PS1 version of this game, you can actually see the preview of their upcoming class. You cannot do that in the Saturn version for some reason. I don't know why. It's not like the Saturn's not capable of doing that one. Just changing two images around. Let's go ahead and start the promotions and start hearing the noises of doom. By the power of the gods of light and darkness, grant this soul new wisdom and powers in the service of mankind. And promoted. Ash has advanced to the rank class of champion. May the light of your new power be a beacon in the darkness. Rinse repeat for all of these characters. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it's sad that I don't get the preview here. I'm going to be fast forwarding a bit. Ah, all right, we've got swordsmen. Bowmen. Oh, dude, we're getting hit with that a lot. So, Diego basically wraps up more and more as a bowman for some reason. I don't know why. I just like that look. It's actually changing her appearance. Oh, right. I can't promote. I... Hux. Going bishop. And now you're wearing a dorky looking hat. Kira. You're going Bowman. If I remember right, if I had promoted Kira as a Hawk Knight, she actually starts putting on more clothes. She does eventually put on more clothes for her next promotion as well, but... And her clothes become much more simplistic as a Hawk Knight. They look more like street clothes rather than armor. Weird. So, the reason why I chose not to do Grog is that whenever you promote to a Guardsman, you basically lose your face uh, because you're in a helmet. Which means we lose Grog's magnificent beard, and I just couldn't let that happen this time. Alright. So, because none of these classes promoted to a class that has new weaponry, because we're going to be doing that for the next set of characters, we need to go to the shop and buy some stuff. So, how goes? Once more, in this game, um, when you are buying equipment, as long as you have defeated every enemy on the battlefield and have no deaths, you will always be able to afford everything. And yes, we are finally upgrading the mages. So, yep, you can see the new equipment down here. Not that we need any of them, and we'd be giving them for free anyway. Alright. I know we haven't actually... Actually, come to think of it, I might have some equipment problems this game. At least right here. Because I'm not promoting anybody to a class that gets different equipment. Which means that I'm not necessarily going to have... Yep, I'm going to have... Because normally I'd be given equipment at this point. Also, notice that Kira wears the same type of armor as Grog now. Light differences in promotion. 
yeah, I'm actually going to have some purchasing problems. I can sell items, so it's not that big. Which I'm going to have to do right now. Or I had something in the wagon. Well, this might be a problem. There. Permit robe, which I think is just these two. Yep, I'll have enough now. Yeah, so normally I'd be, like, for instance, if I promoted somebody to be a monk, I think they're, I mean, they'd be given their weapon, so I wouldn't have had to have upgraded them. It's that type of thing that unbalanced things a little bit. Interesting. I just swore the game was specifically balanced to make it where you never had to sell something, other than the armor that you're currently wearing. Also, for reference, we could buy a mood ring. That's mood. can afford to buy one herb. I think it's going to go on Kira. Alright. Let's go to the tavern. Figure out what people are talking about. Thank you for saving us. If it weren't for you, we might have been mindless zombies forever. Ah, let's just thought of that send shivers down my spine. Please don't send me down your spine. I will break it. Before the revolution, the royal family made it illegal to study the ruins. They were afraid that archaeologists would discover that the legend about their origins of the country and their divinity were untrue. Recently, they found out there was an advanced civilization here long, long ago. Much earlier than the royal family came. Hmm. The royal family, which, mind you, is not in power at all right now, apparently doesn't have the divine right. Those royals were a corrupt bunch, all right, and yet they were of the Asha dynasty, the children of Teroa the Messiah. Perhaps one day we'll all be punished by heavenly justice for overthrowing. Somebody's a royalist. Ah, lad. Oi, I found this weird fruit the other day, but then I dropped it while ru running away from a monster I bumped into. I was right next to that cross-shaped poisonous swamp. Remember when I mentioned that at some point we're probably going to need to fly over a poisonous swamp? Now, mind you, we can still fly. Hey, we can still walk into it. It just means that we're going to be poisoned. All right, I'm going to save it here just in case if we need to reload for whatever reason. Just so I don't have to go through all of that sequence again. Go ahead and leave the village. So we've got a new map. This is Gilbaris Island for reference. So we're in Yuzu Village, and now we need to go to Igstra Canyon. Uh, Grog's portrait. Magnificent. The riot music. Hey, look, it's three new characters. Who would have thought? It's no good. We're finished. Don't give up. Over the, that bridge and we'll soon be in Yuzo village. But what if they've taken the village too? No, Feynman, you're too pessimistic. Uh-oh, they've caught us. I'll distract them while you two get away. We won't leave you alone. Sorry, wrong voice. We won't leave you alone. <gasps> Look, some strangers have arrived. Maybe they'll save us. Those people are under attack by demons. We're coming to save you. Hang on. We'll try. Oh, my voices are all over the place today. So, welcome to the party. Dolan, Eamon, and Sarah. Also, the reason why I wanted Sarah as a monk is just to honor Shining Force 2. <laughs> How are we going to get to the other side? Mmm. 
we can shut off the flow of the water in the aqueduct, we can cross. Look for a switch. Alright, notice defeat is now Death of Ash or Dolan. We need to keep two characters alive. Luckily, that hasn't been a problem for us this game. Um, also, these characters are level 9 and 10. So we need to be a little careful. They're a little squishy, but not that squishy. So what we're going to end up doing is that we're going to use this as a form of defense. What I mean is that Dolan's the only non-squishy here. So what we're going to do is we're going to plank Dol uh, plant Dolan, not plank Dolan, plant Dolan here, aim in here, and Sarah here. The idea being that we can buff Dolan easily. I mean, Sarah can, doesn't actually have to be here, but we can buff Dolan. Dolan will only have to defend against one enemy at a time, two at most if he kills one on a counterattack. And Aemon can be there for support. We are fighting guard dogs. Guard dogs are annoying. Because while they're not particularly strong, they're monk class and only level 6, they have a chance of poisoning. And I don't believe Sarah can cure poison. We also have a crap ton of mad soldiers. Now, while they are level 8, they are relatively strong. They don't have weapons, though, which is weird, but whatever. And they have a very strange attack animation that you'll be seeing soon enough. On our side, we primarily have guard dogs. A couple of soldiers back there, but they're not going to be much of a threat. Now, this battle is very different if we had any Hawk Knights. Because if we had a Hawk Knight, we could actually send the Hawk Knight this way. Without having to close the gate. Hawk Knights are capable of flying over terrain, and that terrain includes water. The canyon's too deep, where Hawk Knights are still affected by elevation. They're just not affected by terrain. So, this is actually too much for the Hawk Knight to fly over. Unless if there was a... Yeah, no, there's no beach or anything like that. But they move far enough where this would not be that hard. Also, you'll notice that there are no archers in this battle. The Hawk Knights would have made this battle easier by virtue of being strong against every single one of the enemies in this battle. You see now why I consider Hawk Knights so powerful? They're strong against the most common types of enemies in the game. Whatever. Okay. So. Well, let's first check their movement. So, if I don't move, that dog is going to be attacked by... going to attack Dolan. The mad soldiers can't get close, it looks like. Okay. So in theory, I could move up, then start moving back. Not a terrible idea. This is actually not that bad of a stopping point either. Let's give it a shot. Right, before I do that, let's make sure Dolan can get there. Okay, yes. I don't want Eamon to be exposed. That would be very bad. Eamon can nearly two-shot them. Also, um, something to note. You notice our attack range is significantly longer than it was before. That's the benefit of promoting archers. It's not that we have better, you know, growth or anything like that. We actually don't. If you kept a regular archer unpromoted the entire game, at level 40, which is maximum level, they would have the exact same stats as a bowman or a sniper, which is the promoted bowman. Um, the only difference is their attack range is garbage, whereas sniper attack range is awesome and can sometimes be across the entire map. As you do. Okay. What is my range on Mystic Shield? Range is four. Two, three, four. Okay, I do need to move up one. That's fine. Oh, right. I forgot to look for... Um... Hidden objects. Button. That one. 
there's a hidden object there. That's actually going to be the problem. And I think I need that object. Or it could be this one that I need. Anymore. Let's look this up. One moment. And confirmed. Yes, I do need the item over here, which means that I'm going to have to keep someone alive. If I had hawks, this would be easier because I can send the hawks over to here, have these three plus the hawks defeat all of these enemies, search this spot, then lower the button over here. Oh well, I did not bring hawks with me, so we're not doing that. I think I can actually reach them. Ah, I'm one square off. Dang it. So we're going to need to not kill all of the enemies. This is gonna suck. Good for showing, Diego. Excellent job. You also notice the archers are moving slightly further. I guess that is another difference. actually saying. Looks like they've got to be saying something, right? Hey, Ash, you're going to stand here. And... Might as well hit. I don't really need the barrier in this case. I'm pretty sure I can't hit from here. No. So actually, Kira, you're going to examine the spot to get Mad Book. Madness Book. You and I. You absolutely need to level up this battle. So something that you will notice is that Huxley has not gained any new magic, but one of the things that promotion does do is give you access to new magic. So if we kept Huxley unpromoted the entire time, he would only have the spells from a healer, which I found out the hard way my second time through the game because I didn't notice I didn't promote one of the characters. told you you're going to be hearing that sound effect a whole bunch this game. Mystic Shield is one of my favorite spells in this game. Yep, everybody's taking their turn. You'll notice that these battles are going to be taking significantly longer now that we have more characters. Yeah, this is what I expect to have happen. Why I Mystic Shielded Diego. And Diego just one-shotted them. Now, to be fair, the... Other characters that I have, yeah, Diego's gonna be hit four times. Um, the other characters that I have, yeah, and he's poisoned. Cool. This might hurt. Um, the new characters don't necessarily have upgraded equipment. At least Diego's leveling up from this. But Diego's not the one I wanted leveled up. Oh, good. He can only get attacked by two of them. Please don't poison him. Damn it. Yes, new spell, uh, new attack animations as well. I do like that. Okay, good. You did not. So here's the problem. We're going to have. Oh, I actually am in range of a mad soul. Wow. Yes, they lick their sword before attacking. The silliest attack animation, I swear.
Man, it would be nice if I had a powerful mage on that side of the map. Instead, I have Sarah. I mean, don't get me wrong, healers are nice and all, but um, healers are not the correct class to have for areas of effect. So poison will do 20-ish damage a turn. Fortunately, no area of effect on any of these. I need to cure Diego now because Diego is taking more damage than Clint. Ooh, that's a slowdown. That's a game slowdown for reference, not just recording slowdown. Spell effects are still causing the game to slow down. To be fair, the PS1 version does have some slowdowns as well, just not like that. 30 XP, so one more attack, which you're going to at least cast Dark uh, Spellbind a few times, so you'll be fine. Um, I don't suppose we have any characters with... Herb... Herb, herb, herb. You're the one that cure potion. Ah, Grog has one. Okay. Grog can help. That'll do. Hey, look, it's the same spell effect. Who would have thought? I mean, I will give them credit. I'd rather have them reuse spell effects for very similar items than they, for instance, I don't know, have the exact same animation for every character. Okay. Honestly, a tactical retreat is probably what I should do. Where I'm moving back no, I need to move back more than that. How far can you move back? You can move back to here. Can't move back any further because we're freaking. Okay. This ain't gonna be easy. But I'm going to try to do that. Right, let's have Dolan attack first, because I don't know if he's strong enough to kill the mad soldier. Nope. Let's counter attack, and I'll have to heal Dolan. Dolan's going to be taking a lot of damage now. I hope I can pull this off, otherwise it's going to be a reload time. We haven't had one of those. Can't let you live because you poison things, and poison is way more dangerous. Also notice Ash's new attack. Flipping the sword around. Oh, I love how ridiculous everybody's attacks are, by the way. Okay. Can I hit from this side of the map? I don't think I can. I am one square off. I might actually be able to hit over here. Nope. They did it intentionally. There's no indent over there. Okay, that's everybody. Oh, boy. So I'm going to try to keep those two mad soldiers around as long as I can. 30. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I didn't think I was going to get hit for that hard. 
Yeah, there's no way I'm hitting. I'm getting. Revive another attack. I'm gonna have to reload. Mm. How am I going to get in there? Yep. Ouch! I must beat a hasty retreat! And. Failure. From the beginning. I do like how you can just go, hey, look, start the battle over, and it does it instantly. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back with my original idea of basically barricading myself behind here. That's fine. Unfortunately, that's going to make this more difficult. Not the treasure chest. I there even anything in the treasure chest I care about. Mood ring and an elixir. This one's the mood ring. That's the most I care about. And even then, I don't care that much. <sighs> so much easier when I have a hawk with me. I probably should have made either Diego or Kira a hawk. Oh well. And you'll also notice that the priests can move further. Bonk. I love how the stone, uh, the boulder doesn't actually roll, it just moves. I don't know if it's just my imagination that remembers it rolling in the PS1 version, or if it's just the Saturn version that it just slides. Anyway, you're gonna Mystic Shield Ash, because we know that's where they're going. It does bother me a little bit that the sound effects are not synchronized with the spell effects. Everybody right now. Okay. Yeah, I told you they're gonna be attacking Ash. And Ash can heal himself, so that makes things. Also, I'm not exactly why are you attacking from the front instead of the side? What the hell? Oh, um, something I forgot to mention. There's apparently a hidden hard mode on the Saturn version of Bindle Hearts. I was very tempted to real uh, to start over playing through hard mode up until now and just swapping. Let me know if that's something that you want me to do, because I'd rather do that, like, now-ish than I would later on. That would suck. Fast forwarding, because they won't be moving up anytime soon. All right. Neil and I really wish you had area of effect magic right now. So, ah, you just need to move one. By one, I'm gonna have you move all the way up. That'll be enough to kill them. It's sad, I can't actually fast forward through the magical effects because the way fast forward is working is by unlocking the frame rate, and I'm already hitting maximum frame rate. Neil and I has finally hit level 10 though. That was one of my objectives this battle. The other one is I need to get that item. Um, everybody else is level 10, so it doesn't actually matter who I used. Let's get you out of the thicket at least. Okay. 
dash is barely even hurt, so maybe blink. Let's see what Grog's attack animations look like. Yep. Just wave the sword around. Okay. And your posterior back there. So if I go up here. Okay. No, I would have to go just to be able to. Not worth it. I think I'm going to lower the floodgate next turn. Yep, that's what I expected to have happen. Please don't quit. Thank you. The rare Thwack with the stick! This is the only battle you will ever see Sarah unpromoted. Because there's no reason she's going to be level 10 at the end of this battle. So is Eamon. It's, it's not impossible for her to not level up, but it might as well be. Okay, if those four stay there, I think I can sneak over and get at the item. That makes things a lot easier. I can actually hit the dog because oh I I actually can okay I'm going to do that might as well get the sport now while I can stab the dog in the back 54 XP we're going here throwing a mystic shield onto Dolan Dolan is going to end up guarding right next to the boulder. And again, enemies cannot push items around. That is something that is very important. Because otherwise this strategy would be dumb. This is, Dolan's gonna be my... Um... Hank. Alright. Watch the vast powers of a 32-bit operating system. Roar. Okay. They blew all of the budget for the entire game now. There's actually more. That's it. Okay. Which means, how far can you move now? You can move up to here. Okay. You can't get me this turn. You can get me if I come down here. And get you this turn. Probably. Yes. So what I'm going to be doing is basically, um, I believe the formal term is hauling ass. Um, I am basically just going to ignore those two enemies unless if I have attacks of opportunity, like I did in that case. Like I could not get Diego too much closer down this line. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Ash 
Ash is level 11? Anybody level 11 here? No, okay. When in doubt, Mystic Shield. I should know better. Okay. <sighs> Back in Grog. That's foolish. Ooh, you have two hit points left. Oh, you're going to be attacking Ash, of course. So, Ash took 14, Grog took 13, and Ash is the one that's Mystic Shielded. What in the world is Mystic Shield doing? Well, actually, Grog might genuinely have more defense. As long as Dolan's only being attacked by one thing a turn, I'm fine. And honestly, probably find out two things are true. Notice that the AI is not really going after Dolan now that I'm not moving all the way down into there. So let's see, what are the differences? So your defense is 64, your defense is 64. What the hell did Mystic Shield do then? I know the spell works, at least it did on the PS1 version. Kira, you haven't done much. Yes. Giant crossbow, basically. Like I said, I am hauling posterior and just taking pot shots. I probably should have had Elon I kill him. Oh well. Diego's now level 11. You'll notice that the duelists actually move fairly fast, or sorry, um, their class swordsman. Duelist is the promoter. Um, they don't move as fast as monks, but they still move pretty fast. I like having mobile troops personally. One of the reasons why I really don't like guardsmen. Can't reach Grog, so I'm gonna have to just heal Ash. Five XP? I mean, it was enough to level up, so whatever, but still. Five? Uh, I mean, you're level 10 now, so I'm not too concerned. Maybe I'll just have Eel and I hang back and go after the. Actually, as far as I can go? Yes. Alright. So the plan is basically to not do that. Um, so you're actually just going to miss the field again. Rather than well, maybe Mystic Shield just increases block chance. That's possible. All right, Sarah's reached level 10. So Eamon's the only character left not at 10 or above. That's fine. Um, I'm not going to attack this turn, because if I attack this turn, then on the counterattack, I'll kill that mad soldier, and a second soldier will attack. Actually, I can survive that, can't I? Your range. Yeah, I can actually survive that. No, I can't, because that'd be three attacks, because I'd be taking the counterattack from the mad soldier this turn, the attack from the mad soldier next turn, and then attack from a new mad soldier. That's 90 damage. Nope. Let's get to distant room. So apparently in the turn order, it wouldn't have mattered. 
Oh well. Man, they need better equipment. Yep, I've gotten their attention. That's good. Eamon will probably level this turn, I think. How close is Eamon to level? 54? Probably not, actually. Okay. I'm gonna... In battle save. I is gonna start working over here. Maybe I'll have Kira help as well. Nah, Kira is actually still useful, even that far back. Okay, how close can I get? Here is as close as I get. They hit hard. I hit hard too, though. Nice blocks. A plus. And Ash is now level 11. And I'm trying to move as close as I can right now. Because I'm going to have those characters rush. Reach Grog? Yes, you can. You're healing Grog. What is more important than... Oh, crap. Did not mean to hit that. Uh, and you undo load state. I still have my hotkeys set, and I accidentally hit the... Um, what should we call it? Um, analog stick, which is... The right analog stick is actually how I have save and load state working when I was playing Wild Arms 2. I should probably just remove that entirely. Getting close, or... Actually, no, you can take a pot shot at that map. Yeah, it's probably not going to do that much damage, and that's a good thing. Or you can kill it. That's a thing, too. Alright, Dolan, it's time for you to start getting some vengeance. Can you attack from that high? No. You're doing 25 damage at that height, at least. Stab into the back. Counter attack in melee range. Got to move Kira. Ah. Oh well. Yep, you're dead. I'm hoping that other mad soldier survives, although it's gonna attack Ash. Good! That's what I wanted to see, because that is perfect amount of hit point. And you all are now coming up. Okay, this is where I need to watch out. I just realized that I kept my only spellbinder way back. Oop. Okay. First off, die. Get Aemon up. Level 10. Now, how in the world am I going to shove somebody back there? Think you can heal? No. 
might be able to heal from there. Yes. So, plan is to send Ash, Clint, and Grog that way. decided Elon and I should be over here. I don't know. I shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Kira over there would have actually made more sense. One can reach this turn? Yeah. One can reach this turn. I need to keep one alive as I shove one of those soldiers way in the back. They're gonna be blocking, unfortunately. Oh, my kingdom for area of effect attacks. Here is the one that actually has anything. Either this mad soldier is going to go around and attack Ash from back, or he's going to stay there and attack Grog. Either way, that means I can sneak around. I just need to be really careful, because sneak attacking Ash from the back probably means that I'm going to kill him in one shot. Whereas, uh, I'm going to need to do something dumb. This is dumb. Oh, I should have done Mystic Shield first. Oh, I'm doing so many dumb things. So many dumb things. So here's the thought. I just need one of those two mad soldiers to survive around. That's it. That's all I need.
Open that treasure chest, Eel and I. Good job, you got the mood ring. It's in the wagon. Hero, just go ahead and move up. Mad book is just single turn. Actually, isn't the mad book parallelization? Okay. That was my work. idea. If one of them. Okay, good. That works. Wait, no, damn it. No, that doesn't work. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, actually, you survived two hits. Might be able to make this work. But probably not. Ah, uh, poop. This is so much harder without a hawk to move around. Okay. Adigo's level 11. Let's have him. Wait, wait. And Kira paralyzed someone. I don't. I'm not in right. One mistake about being not moving Kira for a turn. Okay. Amen. Fill this thing for me. It only has 15 hit points, so. Really? Wow, you are weak. Oh, you're actually out of him. Okay. Notice. Mystic Shield Ash. I don't know if we will get there in time. I don't think this is going to work. I think they're going to suicide against Ash like that. <sighs> nope, can't let that happen. Be right back. All right, reloading. Wow, this is already an hour-long video. And the last battle was the one that I thought was the super long battle. Alright. Let's ignore the stupid item. Don't need it. I need everyone present. Because I need Eel and I to use Paralyze. Um, Spellbind. It's going to be the only way I can get through this.
we're dead. I'm not. That's right, that was enough damage to kill them. Which is fine, actually. And fall to his blade. Oh no, not in this case. Okay. And he'll go on. You have piercing right now. Okay. Save. Well, and I, please don't fail with Spellbind. I only have one mage. I just need to keep one enemy spellbound, and I'm fine. I'd rather it be a squishy one. Good. Okay. This changes things. How far can you fall? Reach out to there, which means you can attack up to... Yeah, you can attack Grog if I attack that one. That's fine. Grog can take a hit. Not item. Sort of really? Okay. Fine. Got more healing. For a double support, you are very dead. Or, you know, Eamon can't hit Broadside of Barn. Good thing that Eamon's gonna turn into a hawk, because, uh, yeah. Curiosity. I'll add in another save just to see. I want to make sure that item actually is what I think it is, since those items tend to not be labeled. Yep, it is spellbind. Okay. It's good to know in case if Elanai's spellbind doesn't work once, I do have an option. Which is what I wanted to know.
Zeppelin. Please just off that stupid thing. Otherwise, I'd have to have Sarah bonk. Mystic shield. Oh, you do actually need. Mystic shield. Grog. You're gonna be the only one hit. Okay. Like the entire party is gonna be 10 or 11 that's fine all right we need to take those four out as fast as possible Neil and i can move up to where huxley is huxley is going to move. oh does huxley have any offensive magic no not that he'd have enough what is the range on piercing ray Range is four, field is one. So I have to target at four. Three, four. Nope, I can't hit even if I move over there. Got it. I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Okay, Eamon, can you actually hit from up there or are you gonna need to move down? You can hit. You're going to hit that mad soul, maybe. Good, you can hit. Congratulations. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I'm not doing a very good job on balancing out XP, by the way. I'm not trying, to be fair. You're injured. Yeah, let's get them both injured. Or that. Fox. Actually, before we do that, Dolan, can you reach? You're uninjured. Seven, you're at 53, you're at 46, you're at 68. Let's heal the one at 46. That would make the most sense. Hux. You're gonna heal the eel. going to make another in-battle save. The reason being is that the paralyzation is somewhat random as to when it fires. It's one to two turns, uh, one to three turns of paralyzation if I remember right. Which is why I'm currently assuming it will survive this turn. Okay. It is surviving this turn. Fine, you can take both hit. You're oh, I guess the height difference, that kind of makes sense. You're dead. And the path is clear. 
Okay, which of these characters can get furthest? You can get down to there. You can get one square closer. Fine, you're gonna sit there. You know what? Often. I mean, it's not by much, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you can move higher. It does matter. Really? That's a problem. Uh, Kira can still kill. Ash? really do. Mm. Oh, guild. That's the important part. Alright, which means Eel and I has to... Uh, let's make an in-battle save here. Complicated battle is complicated because of the stupid spot they put the item and the fact that I forgot to... All right, and I please don't miss. And yes, it will show if you miss even while they're paralyzed. And it does renew the spell effect, if I remember right. Yeah, it has to, because otherwise they, because they unparalyze. Okay, yes, you're still paralyzed. Um, they unparalyze at the start of their round. So that would mean that, you know, they just sit there. Um. Ash, you might as well just heal yourself. Not gonna hurt anything. You'll get some more XP. Yay, XP. Six whole XP. Hux, how much magic do you even have left? Two! You can cast Cure! else matters. I think I've got it now. Okay, so it's next turn I'll be able to get the item and then that will be it. Yep, gotta shoot an arrow into that treasure chest. This makes perfect sense. Paralyzed. There we go. Right, and Sarah, you have no MP left, right? Yeah. All right. Good. You stayed paralyzed. We're good now. Oh, that was obnoxious. All of that to get Macroman. <sighs> Alright, who has the least amount of XP of the party? So you are at 1027, 97, 97, 1018, 
98. I think it's Illini. No, it's Aim. Oh, Aim and crap. Aim and still level nine. Oh, smack. Um. Eamon? Buddy? Al? I don't suppose you can know. Okay, I'm gonna have to delay this battle slightly longer because I really don't want a level 9 character. I think I can do this, though. It'd be nice if I would have paralyzed in a better spot, but, you know. There's always more MP for Spellbind. Unfortunately, as you notice, you don't gain any for status effect. Making sure there's a clear path. And I'm going to... Make sure that nobody dies from knocking that rock over. how I could theoretically just keep that enemy paralyzed while I go all the way back and grab the other item. We're just going to push this that way. Huh. I just swore it just broke at the bottom. Alright. Eamon, this is called target practice. Are you ready? Your target is paralyzed. They cannot move. Thank you, Eamon. And you leveled up. There we go. Right, and that is scene one of chapter two. Oh, this was a long battle. <coughs> because I messed up so much. It's entirely my fault. This is not actually supposed to be that hard of a battle. Get our plot. Uh, that's Sarah. If I remember correctly. We owe you our lives. Captain Dolan! You're Captain Dolan! Well, if it isn't Miss Heal and I. Uh, you know each other? Yes, um, Captain Dolan's one of my father's men. Tell us, Captain, what were those monsters? Looking at each other, looking back and forth. Uh, those are my men transformed into monsters. They're being led by General Magnus. I don't believe you. You lie! I'm sorry, you lie. But it's the truth. Well, anyway, this is not exactly a safe place. Uh, let's go back to the shall we? But meanwhile, oh no, this isn't meanwhile, sorry. Let me try to explain the holes. As you know, we came to investigate the ruins on the island. You can see his silver hair. It turns white at the maximum promotion for a swordsman. That's why I'm saving his hair. Actually, it's because I like the way he looks in the other thing. But why would they send an, the army and an elite squadron at that to some ruins? We were sent after stone tablets, indicating that these ruins are the site of Taroa's Ark. Er, sorry, we were sent after tablets. Anyway, hence, I brain messed up reading. They were discovered. Oh, it's Ark from Genesis? Really? Isn't that just a fairy tale? See, I really like the way Diego leans back when he's an archer. It doesn't quite look right when he's a hawk. I know it's hard to believe, but this has tremendous political significance for the new government. Wait, I think I understand. The Asha dynasty claims to be descended from Tarora, who used the Ark to survive the Great Calamity. 
Discovery of the Ark would provide evidence that Tororo is no legend. The story of Tororo is real, then the Asha dynasty has a rightful claim to rule Daria. So they might actually have the divine right of kings. That's correct. Furthermore, with all of the recent terrorist attacks, we thought that this kind of news might cause a mass riot. That's why we came to this island secretly. I see. That's why you were dispatched here. Why did those soldiers turn into monsters? Is that each other again? Looks back. Not exactly sure myself. We were only uh, we were only away for a short time, but something happened. We got back and saw how they had transformed. We tried to escape, but they captured us. It wasn't until today that we managed to escape. Well, there's no clues as to what happened? It's possible that Magnus had a secret. He did seem to be searching for something in particular. Dun dun. Normally, I would be saving and exiting at this point, but I think we should get the promotions out of the way. So let's do that. All three of these characters are promoting to classes you haven't seen yet, so. Dolan, you are no longer going to be grinning fearless fearlessly. You're going to be putting on a helmet. I'm sorry, Dolan. Um... Yeah. Welcome to Dolan. He now has... Oh, that's right. This form doesn't have a helmet on to his portrait. You notice that the portraits themselves change with motion as well. I do like that feature. See, this guardsman actually looks pretty badass. The other ones look like they're wearing rust. Whatever. Here are your new weapons and armor to match your new skills. See what I mean by you actually do get new things? See? He actually looks pretty cool as a Hawk Knight. So he's got wings, which means, yes, he can fly over terrain. Terrain effects do not affect him anymore. And he has better elevation movement. Not perfect elevation, but better. Um, The equivalent in Shining Force 2 is a monster-based movement, which is float. That's kind of what they have. Sarah, you're a monk. I do like Sarah's portrait, although the goofy hat makes it worse. But you don't have to worry about that as a monk. And she gets to wear a ponytail. You can see the claws strapped to her wrists. Yep. Welcome, monk. Oh, I forgot to promote Eel and I. I better do that now before I forget, because it's very easy to forget when it comes to mages. I know I'm. This video is running super long. Apologies. Also, I really like Eel and I's promote appearance. Um, monks, for reference, if they are coming from women, wear ponytails. It's not a palette swap. It's just that that happens to be the style that they do. Sorcerer, on the other hand, does not, in fact, wear a ponytail. Sorcerer gets a cooler-looking hood. Aw, yeah. I really like the way they look. But yep. And I'm gonna quickly quickly equip them, then we'll save an exit.
And they already have the best weapons, and we can sell their old stuff from wagon. Right, it's weapon. And that's it. Go ahead and save and exit, and I hope you've enjoyed this video, Internet, and I'm probably going to just immediately start the next one. Bye! Better actually save it. We've played for five game hours. Bye, Internet!